So today we're going to show how to solve a system of equations ax equals b using Kramer's rule. So what is Kramer's rule? It's a method that uses determinants to solve systems of linear equations. So um, say for instance you want to find x um, using a and b, you can use Kramer's rule to find x. <coughs> so taking a look at an example with um, a equal um, this matrix and b equal to 1, 2, 3, the vector 1, 2, 3. To use Kramer's rule, you first solve for the determinant of a using row expansion. Um, and then you want to also find the determinants for x, y, and z. So to do that, you replace the x vector with b and then you solve for the determinant using row expansion to get the determinant of dx. Then you do the same thing for y, so you replace the y vector with b, and then you solve for the determinant. And then same thing for dz, you replace the z vector with, the, with b, and then you solve for the determinant. So um, then to find the vector, you do dx over d, dy over d, and dz over d, um, which helps to find the vector x. Um, so here you can see we got a determinant of negative 27 for the original matrix, and then for dx we got the determinant of 32, so negative uh, 32, so the solution for d, d or for x will be 32 over 27, and if you repeat a 27, if you repeat a similar process, our determinant for dy was 27, so that results in uh, y of negative 1, and then for d, we got a determinant of d, z, we got a determinant of 4, so that results in a z value of negative 4 over 27. So our final vector was uh, 32 over 27, negative 1, and negative 4 over 27. And to check that ax does equal b, um, you do matrix multiplication. Um, so we did the matrix multiplication, um, and once simplified, the final solution was a B of 1, 2, 3.